Hello and welcome to Linear Algebra, a whole video course I designed for everyone who wants to start with the basics in mathematics and in the end wants to master vectors, vector spaces, matrices and so on. However, before we start, I really want to thank all the nice supporters that make this course possible. Each small contribution on Steady or PayPal makes it easier for me to spend time creating these videos here. Therefore, on Steady you find quizzes and the PDF versions for all the videos here. Ok, now you might know, I already have some calculation videos about some topics in linear algebra, but with this course here, you finally get the whole structure and should be able to learn linear algebra by watching the videos in the right order. Indeed, linear algebra as a whole is a very important topic in mathematics and it has a lot of different applications. One application I can visualize immediately with a short drawing here. Just imagine, in a problem you want to solve, a lot of variables are involved. For example, we could have some fixed quantities we just call a, b, c and so on. And on the other hand, we also could have some variables where we don't know the value yet. Therefore, we call them unknowns and here we denote them by x, y, z. Hence, in order to solve your problem, you want to find possible values for x, y, z. And exactly there, linear algebra can help when we know the relations between the quantities. However, it turns out that in some sense we need simple relations between our variables. Then, when we have this, we can use linear algebra to find all the possible solutions for the unknowns. Therefore, linear algebra is the important tool which helps us solving our problem. So you could say, giving calculation rules for solutions is one part of linear algebra. Indeed, this is important, but in order to really understand the topic as a whole, we need to go abstract. Therefore, this abstract level is something I also will discuss in this course. For example, on this abstract level, we'll find a fundamental concept we call a vector space. Then, in the space, we will find objects we call vectors. And we will find out that we can do a lot with these vectors, which leads us to a new concept we call a linear map. Hence, there we have now something that can transform vectors. Now, please don't be deterred here, of course we don't start at the abstract level. First, we will consider a very concrete level. This means, instead of an abstract vector space, we start with something we can call Rn. Then, on this level, a linear map just corresponds to something we can put in a table. And such a table, we just call a matrix. Ok, now you know, in this course, we first discuss the concrete level here, and then we go to the abstract level afterwards. Of course, there are some prerequisites for this course you should know. However, the good thing is I have a whole series about start learning mathematics that should help you there. Now, you don't have to know all the topics there, but it would be helpful if you gather a basic knowledge about logical symbols, set operations and maps. In particular, working with maps will be important immediately. Then, with this knowledge, I would say you are ready to start with linear algebra here. Therefore, in the next video, we can immediately talk about vectors and how to calculate with them. So I really hope that I see you there. Have a nice day and bye.